Welcome back, gang. Uh, haven't done one of these in a while. <laughs> um, Lord, when was the last time I made one of these? Like, May? Let me see. Uh, yeah, end of May. Last, oh, no, this year, this year. Uh, last time I filmed one of these, it was like May 28th, 2024. And now it is November the 1st, 2024. And I've really missed doing these. So I wanted to just to film one really quick. Some life updates since then, you know, like back then, that was when I was probably starting Red Dead Redemption 2. Cool. And uh, obviously since then I finished it, absolutely life-changing game, really recommend it. But I don't know, it's just, it's been an interesting, interesting ride since May. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, there's a lot more of us now. <laughs> um, changed location a couple times. I'm in a new apartment. I'm no longer filming from prison. It's not actually prison, guys. Don't worry. It, it, it's just a bit. It's just a bit for those who are actually concerned. It's a bit. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm finally filming for an apartment, which was a goal of mine for a while now. And as I'm sitting here right now, we have 3.26k subscribers. That's a little terrifying. <laughs> um, if you, you know, maybe if you haven't watched the Red Dead videos I've done, one of them recently hit quite a few views. I don't really like talking about numbers and stuff, it freaks me out, but that is what I kind of wanted to talk about today, because it's something that's been on my mind and something I've mentioned on stream, but just didn't feel completely comfortable talking about it. I don't know. But this is a more... We, we know Ricky Rambles. It, it, we tend to be a little bit more serious here. We tend to be a little bit... Little, we have goofy moments. We, we, we're, we're, we're goofy. We're goofy around here. But... I don't know, man. This is just different. These videos are different. I wanted to talk a little bit about just... The growth and how much it scares me. Cause I feel like, I don't know, I, I, a lot of people, like, I'm grateful. Let's get that out the way. I am incredibly grateful to now be, what, what, am I partner with YouTube? Is that what it's called? YouTube pays me, Twitch pays me, I'm a Twitch affiliate. Um, so that's awesome. That's helping pay my bills right now, helping pay for whatever games you guys want me to play. Usually I pay for it through Twitch, through monetization on videos, um, and I'm really grateful for that. So now I can focus my actual paychecks more on my bills and on food. I can afford food again. Guys, it's crazy. But numbers, the, the higher numbers are scaring me a little. I'm not quite used to them yet, even though it's been a couple months. I, I actually remember when I posted that video, that kind of got, you know, more views. The one with me crying over chapter 6 of the game. Um, but it's definitely been life-changing. I've made a lot of friends since May. Um, you know, like, I stream with my friend Hobo all the time. And uh, Nemo, all them. It's, it's been really nice to have them in my life. They've been a big help. Because even though on stream I make sure I'm acting happy and stuff, in real life I'm not always doing well. And I do try to be candid about that, even if I don't cry always on camera and stuff like that. I do try to be candid about it, especially in the Ricky Ramble videos. That mental health is, you know, it's up and down. It's ever-changing. And that's okay. That's normal. I hope it's normal at least, because that's been my entire life. And... With the rising viewership, I guess is the way I can word it, it has gotten me very anxious. Like, some of you may have noticed that I started The Last of Us, but I didn't really continue it. And honestly, that is because I've been terrified of playing it again. <laughs> because not only is it like a, a stealth game, which I don't particularly enjoy, it really just stresses me out. I was terrified of streaming it because 
people, I, I was terrified that people would watch that, see me doing bad, and th think that, I don't know, think negatively of me. Uh, if you haven't noticed, if I haven't, you know, if you haven't watched a lot of my videos, I am very much a perfectionist. Um, basically, anything from singing, talking, I want everything to be perfect. And I want to be proud of the things I create, but a lot of times I end up finding nothing but flaws. But that is something I have enjoyed, like the Minecraft videos that I edit. Even if they don't get a lot of views, I really enjoy making them and they're really funny to me and my friends and that's all that really matters. So for those, I'm not as stressed. For games like The Last of Us for those streams, I've only streamed it twice. And not only was my PC crashing, but then also the hurricane was on the way. And then I got out of commission because of the hurricane. It's just been hard to get the motivation to play it again. Mainly because not fear of the game, but just fear of failure. I'm, I don't want people to be upset with me because I'm not a pro gamer. You know, I'm, I'm not exactly stellar at these games. I'm, I'm very much a casual player. Like, we, we, we can be honest here. I play Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing all the time, Minecraft. I really enjoy Red Dead, I'm not the greatest at it. Um, I even had people commenting like, oh, you use Deadeye so much. My bad, fam. My bad. It, it did take me a while to realize how to use it, but my bad. I didn't realize that was a problem. And I don't know, I just feel like I'm disappointing people, and I hate that. Especially because these videos are for me. That was the purpose. But sometimes I feel like it, it loses that. And I have to be careful. Like, even though, like, obviously, 3K, it's significant to me. But I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot. The views that I'm getting in the grand scheme, it's not a lot. But for me, it is very significant. And it just feels like there's a lot of eyes on me right now. And something that people have been telling me is that here right now these next few months will dictate my journey on YouTube and my successfulness is that a word how successful I am which is kind of terrifying because I didn't really start this thinking it would go anywhere it was more just a hobby because I really enjoy creating and I enjoy streaming I enjoy talking to chat even if some of y'all don't like my chat that's okay I get it Sometimes it can't be a lot, but it's something I really, really have found a passion for, and I never thought it could be possible to where one day I'm sitting here thinking, oh, this might be my full-time job one day. But it, it is slowly maybe becoming that that is a reality. I don't know how to phrase things, sorry. I don't have a script for these. If you haven't watched these before, I don't script these, so just please ignore my horrible, horrible sentence structure and grammar. As the numbers kind of go up, I do find myself feeling a little bit more isolated and pressured. And I know, like, I have friends who are helping me not always feel like that, so it's not always. And again, I'm really, really grateful because the idea that this could be something I do full-time one day, years in the future, that really excites me. And that really is a cool goal to have because, let's be honest, I I've talked about it here on here before, I'm, I'm autistic. I'm not suited for normal work environments. And I don't say that I can't do things because I can force myself to, like, I, I do work a 9 to 5 every single day. And I also go to school. But it's not something sustainable for my health that I can do forever. Like, for example, I used to work part-time and go to school full-time. And that ended up not being great for my health. So I'm now a part-time student. And just full-time working because I need to pay my bills. And... Where was I going with that? <laughs> where was I going with this? So, you know, the idea of doing something like YouTube, where I can be my own boss, I can make my own videos, and sure, you have to worry about monetization and stuff, but I don't mind that. I can be clean. Um, so, 
it, it's something that I really look forward to, but I'm simultaneously terrified of it. Um, I don't like being perceived. I've talked about here a lot. I don't have a very good self-esteem. I, I don't like my face, my voice, anything. But there is just this yearning that I have to do something more. To create. I love writing music. I've yet to release any of that music, any of my original music, because I just don't think it's ready. And maybe it never will be. But I love creating. I love making videos. I really enjoy interacting with all of you. Especially on Ricky Rainbow videos, because I feel like the people who watch these, you're getting an even deeper insight on my life than anyone else. Not trying to be parasocial with that. that don't, don't be parasocial with that. But I'm just saying, it's nice to respond to comments on these videos more than other ones, because it feels like there's a little bit of a deeper connection going on. And we're actually just being human for once. So I'm definitely not stopping. I do hope this channel continues to grow. It would be it would be really crazy if we hit 5k. Because I know that we, we kind of shot up the 3k relatively quickly. It would be really weird if we got to 5k. Oh god. Um, so that's, that's maybe, I guess, a goal I'll have. And I'm going to keep streaming. But I do hope that people are patient with me. But then again, it's the internet. They don't have to be. <laughs> but no, I, I am excited about where the channel's going. And I'm proud of things that I make. I'm looking at some of the titles of my old Ricky Rambles videos. They're just sad. Good lord. The first one, A New Beginning, is just me talking about starting Ricky Rambles, I guess, my YouTube channel. I don't feel human is the second one. What a jump. I'm tired of feeling like a disappointment. Still goes through. It runs in the family. I don't even remember what I said in that one. Moving out, moving on. I think that was when I moved out of my apartment. And then I just kind of stopped. And I will be honest, it's because I didn't know what to say. Like, I talk so much to fellow streamers now, and I talk so much to chat that sometimes I feel like, oh, but I really don't know what, what to say in these anymore. And maybe I'm just rehashing opinions that I've talked about already on stream, but it's still nice to have a little outlet and still have this space. Because no matter how big the channel gets, or if, even if it never grows again, you know, maybe, maybe I'm stuck at 3k for the rest of my life. I want to have peace knowing that I'm happy with what I'm creating, that I'm being honest, that I'm just being myself because I don't really get to be that very often. So Ricky Rambles, I'm gonna definitely try to come- I, I say this every time. I swear guys, I'll be back. <laughs> I've not abandoned the Ricky Rambles videos. Don't know if anyone is keeping track though, other than me. But these are the videos that are honestly some of my, like, they're more important to me. So, I do want to make more of these. And, hope you guys didn't mind a quick little ramble. I know this one's not long, but I hope you didn't mind just me sharing some thoughts really quick. Very unorganized. Again, I didn't script any of this. I don't know what I'm saying. I, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright? I should probably eat dinner. Um... I will see you guys later. And thank you for everything. Bye.